So this is a short video of uh, my 99 Great Dane uh, reefer trailer that I've converted into a mobile home slash office. It's uh, air ride suspension. So it's, uh, it's deflated right now, so it's sitting uh, as low as it'll go. And uh, connected these bars to the bottom of the trailer. I was going to join some skirting to that, but uh, didn't. So the trailer's in, uh, in pretty good shape. Like structurally, structurally there's, uh, there's no real damage. There was some dents. That's where I placed the windows and doors to get rid of the, the worst spots. I covered the uh, reefer hole in the front. These pipes are uh, for the 300 gallon fresh water tank that's mounted in the trailer to fill it. And uh, here I've got the diesel tank for the reefer still attached. I was going to use that to store fuel for a generator. And then beside it is a propane tank that I had mounted that runs the uh, propane services in the trailer, such as the furnace and I had a, uh, another external tank uh, mounted to that as well for the winter time it was my main heat source and uh, that's the uh, hot water tank it's the three way so I'm going to uh, take you inside the trailer Give you a quick look around. It's got these nice aluminum doors on the back. So inside I've got some cabinetry. The storage. Um, that table mounts against the wall and folds down. Some convenience. The kitchen. Plywood backing. So it can be tiled, although it's just something I, I never bothered to do. It's got a double sink. Nice and deep. And uh, propane range, three burner. I always use the microwave myself. Got a a nice microwave oven, um, lots of storage in the kitchen. Here you can see the, the hot water tank, five gallon hot water tank and the mounted controls for it. It's a three-way system. Um, so here you can see some of the cabinetry again, it's the back doors, some racks for hanging clothing. This is the side door. Now, going up the trailer, it's the gravity-fed propane furnace. So it doesn't use any power uh, except propane. There's no electricity. And uh, here in the bathroom, well, it's a little dark, I see in the video, but uh, there's a nice shower stall. And uh, sink, vanities. Um, the toilet's been removed. I had a composting toilet here, but I, uh, I removed that and sold it separately. So um, There's pocket doors for privacy that close to close the... Uh, we're now standing in the bedroom. And uh, so they, they block off the trailer if you close them both. And then uh, so you have a private small bedroom with a large window. Now the bed is uh, mounted over a 300 gallon uh, freshwater tank and uh, so you have storage of fresh water in the trailer and that's powered by a jet pump with a pressure tank so it's a full pressure system, high pressure system and then I have a large uh, inverter converter um, 
so that runs all of your power it, it has a solar panel on the roof four gel batteries and uh, about a 50 foot uh, heavy duty extension cord so I've mostly uh, ran it just on a service plugged in but uh, it can run independent of that it's a nice uh, wood paneling up here and then again back to the door that I've closed So the bathroom, again, so it, it has these pocket doors, close it off from the bedroom. So, as you can see, it needs a bit of finishing still. You can see the insulation um, that I doubled up on, on the ceiling and walls, uh, bubble foil, so, on top of the uh, foam insulation that's in the reefer trailer to begin with. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the unit, some flooring uh, installed, it's all, uh, this, this is a rough deck coating, industrial deck coating at the back on, uh, on flooring, over top of the uh, aluminum floor. So this was a, a food trailer, so it's got the full aluminum floor underneath, so it gives the trailer a lot of a lot of uh, value for scrap in the end when you're all said and done with it many many years down the road so that's a uh, little video of the trailer and I'll uh, put this up on YouTube